video. Let's add sound effect as the feedback of our piece move, okay? So, but before that, let's improve our uh, game screen a little bit because we didn't make full use of the, the screen, right? So, let's, let's try this. So here is our board view. The ratio is uh, 80%. It means we'll use 80% of the of the uh, board view width. Okay, now let's try 1.0. 1 1.0. So we'll have bigger, right? Bigger piece and the board. Now, yeah, cool. So, how can we add sound effect? We need to find a sound file, right? So, I already uh, prepared a wave file, a very short wave file. Yeah, let's listen. Can you hear that? Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> we need to drag this guy into our uh, Xcode, like that, put it yeah, somewhere here, destination, copy item if needed, yeah, make sure we check this, so, because we need to copy the, the file to be part of our project, finish, and let's double check, yeah, we can play here, now, Let's go to view controller. So every time when we move a piece, right, we can play the sound. Something like that. We can play the sound here. So we need to import another library called AV Audio, AV Foundation. Yeah. Then uh, we need to create an audio player. Um, let's define one here. VAR audio player and uh, the type is AV audio player. Yeah, let's use this exclamation mark. This means we ourselves, right? We ourselves will guarantee we can create an audio player successfully from the from the uh, sound file so if it cannot if the platform cannot find the uh, sound file it will crash so let's do it here there are three steps to get this guy audio player initialized after that we can call audio player here like audio player dot play yeah so three steps first one we need to find out the file path equals it's called main dot bundle oh mm. main uh okay main let's google it okay sometimes i cannot remember the detail of the syntax so ios is like you right oh wait a minute main so dot yeah okay it's something like main bundle, okay? So maybe bundles domain. <laughs> Is it bundle dot main? Oh yeah, dot uh, get resource or re res. Okay, let's Google it. The thing. Uh, the detailed syntax. So iOS Swift add sound. Uh, okay, 
example. Let's take a look of that. So basically will be oh main dot bundle sweet one. Okay, so bundle dot main dot URL. Okay. So we can do that. Oh so I think it can be simpler than I expected. So we can we don't need the file path, we can get the URL directly. So main URL for resource with extension. Yes. So this the our file name is drop, right? Extension wave. Now using with that URL we can create our initialize initialize our audio player dot dot what um it's something like try audio player okay yeah audio player equals try this and the uh, AV audio player contents of URL URL uh, UR. yeah don't okay so what's that fix no that's just put um, exclamation mark here because we are sure we guarantee right it won't fail yeah so otherwise we'll debug why it fails why it fails okay so now we create the url so actually so sorry about that i said three steps but actually there's only two steps we can get the url the file url directly from yeah this uh, function call. Now let's give it a try. Run it. Move a piece. Yes. Let's increase the sound volume. Right? Cool. Right? Now we have strong sound effects, right? So that's it for today. See you next time.